All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Dive into Real Estate Investing for Newbies Podcast. I have another great guest, uh, Samson uh, Degoris. Uh, Samson, uh, man, he has an extensive background. That's all I have to say. I'm going to read a little bit about his background, um, and I'm, I'm just excited to have him on the podcast. So Samson uh, over, has over 12 plus years in the business. He's an executive leadership and entrepreneurship. Samson has served as a professional futures and commodities broker, built a single family rental property business and a boutique gym. Uh, most notably, Samson has been a key player on the executive leadership team at uh, Madwire and Inc. 500 marketing and technology company located in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, he has aided in taking Madwire's revenue from 7 million to over 100 million and 35 employees to 600 employees in 10 years. So, uh, and there's tons of stuff, more stuff I can add, but I'm just, I'm ready to hear what Samson got to say, man. Just welcome to the show, Samson. Appreciate you being on. Yeah, man. I, I'm excited to be here. I think this is uh, real estate's the thing that I didn't know that I wanted to do when I grew up. And uh, I love that you're, you're specifically focused on helping people find their way into it. If you're like me and you, we love it. We know the advantages of it. It's fun putting the deal together, hustling it down. Um, so I'm excited to just share what I know and and hopefully change some people's lives. Yeah. So, um, you know, me and Samson was talking a little bit before the show and uh, I was listening to another podcast, man, and uh, Alex Perto, I listened to him and it was, they were talking about multifamily versus single family. And they had, man, they had dropped a lot of good nuggets, but um, uh, with Samson, Samson has done, he's doing tons of stuff from fix and flip to rehab to, uh, single family or multi-family, but, um, you know, I'm very interested in uh, just his knowledge and his content that he's going to give today. So Samson, kind of give us a little background of how you started and where are you located right now? So I'm in uh, Northern Colorado, um, Fort Collins, Colorado State's up here. I live just outside of that in a little town called Windsor, which is growing like crazy. It's one of the you know, fastest growing segments of Colorado, just outside of Greeley, if you've ever heard of that. Greeley and Colorado Springs are like both, both ends of the spectrum of the state. And so just growing like crazy up here, tons and tons and tons of land, you know, just to give you perspective, there's 5.5 million people in the entire state of Colorado. There's 8 million people in New York, New York. Um, so there's lots of land and lots of opportunity for residential development. So there's a ton of that going on right now. Right. in the state. Um, for me, I got my start back in 2008. So I graduated on a Friday with a degree in human physiology and decided to completely pivot and walk into a futures and commodities trading brokerage on a Monday. And uh, three months later, I was a newly crowned futures broker. And that was September 29th, 2008. And the Dow Jones fell 777 points in a single day, which set off the economic housing crisis. But as a you know 24-year-old young guy. It was probably the best thing that could happen to me because I got baptized quick and uh, I was learning just real time every single day, you know, and, and being around seasoned traders and investors and, and whatnot. Um, that's ultimately what ended up pushing me to real estate. And, you know, if you know anything about the futures market, highly, highly leveraged, you know, you can get 10 to one leverage on a lot of you know, different types of assets. Like we were trading crude oil and gold and cattle and pigs and corn and soybeans and wheat and things like that. Um, the, the consistent theme was though, the people who uh, perennially made money were my producers, meaning they were people who actually owned hard assets, right? The farmer who went and traded futures was trying to hedge his cash crop or hedge his cash um, herd. He wasn't as concerned about just speculating on where price is going, you know? And I think that's one of the things that I love about real estate is it's actually backed by something physical. And if you look at, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, um, food, shelter, and water, that's the most fundamental stuff that we need. That stuff is not going anywhere. It's not going to be Ubered out of existence. If anything, technology is only going to handset like we've seen with Airbnb, for example. 